What do you see in this picture? What about this one? And this one? If you happen to see any faces in these pictures, you've been affected by pareidolia, seeing faces in inanimate objects or abstract patterns. Pareidolia is not a disorder, but a visual illusion, though people who suffer from depression are less likely to see them, and women are more likely to see them, thought to be because they have higher emotional intelligence. Humans are social animals, and it's highly advantageous for humans to recognize other humans above all else. That being said, we don't really need it anymore. Now it just causes a casual eyebrow raise, wacko conspiracies, and people spending $28,000 on a grilled cheese sandwich because it looked like the Virgin Mary. Don't be this lady. It's embarrassing. What makes you love your baby? What makes you love puppies? And it's so evolved, it's devolved? Neoteny. Simply put, it's the juvenile traits and features, in this case, the ones retained in adult animals. But what are these features? Larger eyes, bigger foreheads, smaller ears, smoother skin, smaller teeth, longer lips, and a jawline. These are features the young of many animals have. But weirdly, every study on the matter shows these factors in adults are widely considered more attractive. So much so, women wear makeup unknowingly, mimicking the effects of neoteny. Some studies have even shown the more neotenous the race, the higher the IQ is, and Eastern Asians are by far the most neotenous race, followed by Africans. One extremely weird occurrence is aliens are often shown being highly advanced and highly neotenous. Whether it means anything, the average human is more neotenous than the average human from just 2,000 years ago, and the future humans are expected to look something like this. Evolution. Time is weird. The 10th president of the United States, John Tyler, still has two living grandchildren who were born 1924 and 1928. Imagine the stories from that grandpa. Meanwhile, Marilyn Monroe and Queen Elizabeth were known for two very different things and were born in the same year. It's weird to think that if Marilyn Monroe were alive today, she'd look like this. On a different time scale, woolly mammoths seem ancient, but were still roaming the earth when the pyramids were being built. By the time the last woolly mammoth has died, the oldest tree alive today was already 1,000 years old, but the bones of the first dinosaur wouldn't be discovered until 1824, while George Washington died in 1799, so we never even knew dinosaurs existed. Stupid. When Disney World opened in 1971, Native Americans were still trapped in boarding schools, in cages, killed, raped, murdered, and eradicated, trying to get rid of their culture, language, and way of life, conveniently funded by the US government. Nah, what's the US if you're not locking up brown people in cages, am I right? Five interesting stuff. Number five. As photography became more and more popular, a new tradition came about where medical students took pictures with their cadavers. This is the student and the most popular picture of its kind, titled a student's dream. Number four, pandas eat around 84 pounds of bamboo a day, being fierce yet adorable. Number three, in the popular game Among US, the probability of a character being picked goes in this order. Black, white, red, purple, blue, cyan, yellow, pink, orange, green, lime, and brown. So if you pick brown, best believe you are unique, but don't forget, you are the most sus. Number two, this here is the only preserved head, skin, and tissue specimen of the extinct dodo bird, safely enclosed in the Oxford Museum. Number one, this is the first ever beware of dog sign uncovered in Pompeii, where the Mount Vesuvius volcano erupted. The eruption was thought to look something like this. That black cloud of ash killed most people instantly with extreme heat. The Dwarf Giant By the age of 18 years old, Adam Rayner had grown to a whopping height of 4 feet 8 inches. A medically diagnosed dwarf. But this dwarf was different. Although he was below the normal height, his hands and feet were the average male size. This 4 foot 8 dwarf had a size 10 shoe. But that's not nearly the weirdest oddity Adam would encounter. At the age of 21, when most men stopped growing, Adam went from being a tiny 4 foot 10 all the way up to being 7 foot 1. It was discovered Adam was suffering from acromegaly, a tumor growing on his pituitary gland, releasing excessive growth hormones, the very same condition the tallest man ever, Robert Wadlow, had suffered from. Sadly, these heights come with their drawbacks big ones, as he lost sight in his right eye and hearing in his left ear in his life at age 51, finally measuring at 7 foot 8 on his deathbed, dying the only person medically diagnosed as a dwarf and a giant. Who was the Zodiac Killer? Between the years of 1968 and 1969, an unknown man took the life of many people located in Northern California. This man was known as the Zodiac Killer. During his year of murder, he targeted young couples, and on two occasions, the men from the couples escaped the attack. While it's only officially confirmed he killed five people, he's claimed to kill 37. He did that through his notorious letters sent to newspaper companies, once sending the bloodied shirt of one of his victims. He would call the police stations and taunt them, leading him to be known as one of the most arrogant and sneaky serial killers to this day. These are some of his coded letters sent. 
He even admitted to sending his own identity through code. After all his antics, to this day, his identity is unknown. Until the end of time, we may be asking ourselves. Early Halloween Costumes Back before Halloween boiled down to girls in bikinis matched with bunny ears, in the 1900s, most costumes were handmade, and if not, they were made by small shops, giving them all their own unique creepiness. These were their costumes. You know how every house has a smell, well guess what, every person has a smell too. Comment your name down below, I'll look at your profile picture and your videos and I'll tell you what you smell like. Only rule is, you can't get offended, that's the only rule. Go ahead and comment. The Backrooms, Level 4 Despite coming from an extremely dangerous Level 3, Level 4 should be your personal cakewalk. Level 3 is marked unsafe, unsecure, medium entity count, while Level 4 is safe, secure, and minimal entity count. The physical appearance mimics both an empty office building and an abandoned storage unit. There are windows in this level, but if you find them, it's warned to stay clear, as they are all traps and should be avoided at all cost. This level is most known for its scattering of almond milk, in broken vending machines, out of coolers, and even found coming out of the water fountains. It's always suggested you drink and carry as much as you can, as this will be your main source of nutrition throughout the rest of your times in the back room, and you're going to need it as the upcoming levels will end up being your worst nightmare. Two Sentence Horror Stories My girlfriend always got creeped out by the 14 weird dolls I kept on display. I have a new girlfriend now, and she wants me to throw out all 15 of the disturbingly lifelike dolls. My company has created conscious AIs 47 times smarter than humans. We can never learn too much, because they keep immediately committing suicide. Do you see now, there's nothing to be afraid of, Mom asked as she emerged from the closet. Yes, mommy. I lied, noticing her mole was on the left side. Little Timmy innocently threw a quarter in the well, wishing for universal peace. Every atom in existence stopped clashing into each other, forcing the universe to freeze in peace forever. Devastated by my dog's death and wanting to do good for others, I asked the genie to bring back all animals to life that died in the past month. It wasn't until I felt the rising contents of my stomach forcing its way up out of my throat and out of my mouth that I realized that eating steak tonight was a very bad idea. I found a nail in my tire. I think it was my neighbor. I was sure I'd gotten every bit of him off my car. Top 5 Rare Photos From History Number 5. The very last photo taken of the Titanic on 1912 as it sailed away to its demise. This photo in general is extremely eerie. Number 4. Two people died in 800 BC, embracing for the last time. That embrace was discovered in 1972, and have been buried together for the past 2,800 years. And a forever kiss, these two were both men. Number 3. This is Sergeant Ronald Payne traversing the Viet Cong tunnels in 1967 with the flashlight and an M1911. Number 4. This is an aerial photo of Cleveland, Ohio, emptying industrial waste into Lake Erie. The water quality at this time was highly disturbing. Number 1. This is Peter, an escaped American slave, showing his scarred back at the medical examination in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He would later go on to join the Union Army. He bravely fought in the Civil War to free other slaves. Hats off to this dude right here. The Backrooms, Level 5 This is widely known as one of the safest levels. Not as safe as Level 4, but enough to relax, if only for a few moments. It's also regarded as the smallest level. The physical appearance is surprisingly most like an old hotel, with two main sides, the main hall and the broiler room. But if you were to ask me, I would say it looks something more like a creepy antique store. People have recorded seeing dark ominous figures, but they are all still unconfirmed. If you stumble upon elevators or stairs in the broiler side, do not use them. They are all traps, and the boiler room is so hot, it's hard to explore in the first place. Stay on the beaten path, take the main halls, and find your way out. But rest up, because the next level is the most dangerous and the most deadly level. Good luck. Morbid Reality, Part 2. You guys asked for it, so here it is. A subreddit devoted to the most disturbing content on the internet. An Arizona war worker writes her Navy boyfriend a thank you note for the Japanese skull he sent her. Life Magazine, 1944. A Russian mother kept her baby locked in the closet hoping it would starve to death. Somehow, she lived and was rescued by a friend that heard her crying. On October 4th, 2012, 17 year old Jake Evans shot and killed his mother and sister. He called 911 and calmly confessed shortly after, describing that what he had just done felt weird and that he had been planning on killing anyone for some time. 
chartered flight suits of Apollo 1 astronauts Ed White and Roger Chaffee. This is the address reveal that led to Pop Smoke being robbed and killed in his own home. Red Room My mom used to go out every night and leave me in the house alone. I was used to it. My dad had died a while back anyways. She had been leaving me for quite a few years when I pricked up the courage to ask her where she went each night. I go out for Red Room, is what she told me. I asked her what is Red Room. It was a drinking bar. That's what I believed for a while onward. She always came home, grinning and looking a bit mental. Who could blame her? She was out drinking, right? The strange thing was, mom never came back smelling of alcohol. It was a bitter smell. My mom hated bitter wine. Then, one day it hit me. If you spell Red Rum backwards, well, you know what she went to do. I'm not proud of it, and I've never admitted I know what she does. I mean, what would you do? Top 5 Best Animes of All Time Number 5, One Piece Even though this anime is on every top most popular list anywhere, there's always only one person you know that watches this anime. But you know what? That's good enough for me. Number 4, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure The fan service this anime is abundant. If you get into anime, don't start here, but end up here. This is less an anime and more of a work of art, unlike. Number 3, My Hero Academia Jojo fans and One Piece fans are punching the air right now because My Hero is above them, but I see it as a modern day Naruto, keeping the youth interested in anime. It has a great storyline, and my personal favorite character out of any anime, All Might. But it can't top. Number 2. Naruto. This is the best storytelling of Zero to Hero of any anime, ever. And storytelling in general is just amazing in this anime. This has to be the best anime to start with. Some scenes may seem cliche, but sometimes, that's what you want. Number 1. The best anime of all time. Dragon Ball Z. I'm sure most people probably expected this. It's a lot of the time thought to be the most impactful anime ever created. In my opinion, this is the best anime.